Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a huge baby haul, as you can see. I've got loads of stuff here, stuff down here. Let's get stuck in. If you are new to this channel, we would love it if you'd subscribe and press the notification bell. We do all sorts of things on this channel, vlogs, hauls, baby stuff. My husband does other bits and bobs. Just have a look around, see if you like it. If you do, please subscribe. Naked and I don't know ya But if you wanna go sometime If you wanna Right, I did a baby haul uh, a good couple of months ago now and um, we'll link that down below if you want to go watch that but we've just purchased a few other bits and bobs since and just thought I'd show you I'll start with some baby first year milestone cards Now I know you can get these from everywhere um, all different types of fancy ones I totally forgot about getting them actually it went on my list but I were in home bargains grabbing a couple of other bits and bobs and I saw them and I thought yes let's get some and they're just like from one week old and it goes through 12 months and then it also has things like set up for the first time crawled for the first time slept through the night, I said mummy, I said daddy and then it goes up to first birthday and I think they were like 98p, like a pound I thought you can't go wrong for a pound so yeah, milestone cards also I totally forgot, in my last um, haul thing I've got um, a steriliser and bottles and things but I've not actually got a bottle teat brush type thing so I saw this in home bargains as well it's a Tommy Tippy one and I think it was like 199 because it the steriliser didn't come with one so I'm glad I saw that so I'll pick that one up this is ace I can't wait to get this out we need some batteries for a lot of the things that we've purchased and I can't wait to get some batteries but we have got Ollie the Owl it's a white noise bear it does four sounds it's got the cry sensor so if the baby starts crying in the night or what have you it will it, you can set it so it automatically comes back on it also has a light in there um obviously i've not taken it out i've not got batteries for it yet but we got this on offer and i think it was 25 pound from either mother care or boots i can't remember i think it might have been boots actually yeah, and it were reduced to £25, and I think it still is because we saw it in the shop the other day. But yeah, that's it with the light on. And I've never had a um, a white noise bear before, so I'm really looking forward to using this. I can't wait to play. <laughs> and to go with that, it's from um, the Grow Company, and they also do the Grow Bags. And we've got a couple here look at all the mess right picked up this one the same time as ollie the owl and it's exactly the same because i thought it'd be so sweet for it to be in this and then have this how cute um but yeah i've taken this out of the packaging and i've actually washed this um there's some bits i've washed some bits i haven't i need to get organized but yeah that is so sweet and this was on offer as well i think i got this from amazon and um, we saw it in Boots the other day for like 30 odd pound, 35 pound ish. And it, we got it for about 25, something like that. And this is a 2.5 TOG. And you also get the, um, I'll open this one as well to show you. But hang on a sec. Yeah, in with all the grow bag sleeping bags, you get a temperature thing like this. Just the basic temperature thing but what is really cool about it is it's hot warm ideal and cold and it tells you the room temperature and then at the side of it it tells you what tog sleeping bag you should be using for that temperature and i noticed because it's well it had been quite warm and now it's cold again but i had noticed for a while um that the tog recommendation on this was one tog and this is 2.5 tog so i picked up another one that i've not opened yet i'll open it now and this is a not six months one tog 
sleeping bag. I also picked this up from Amazon. I find them a lot more reasonable on Amazon than in the shops. Um, and there, look, you've got another one in there that I can use. And there we go. This is a one tog one, and yeah, it does feel a lot thinner, obviously. But I'll get use out of both of them, I'm sure I will. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with them and that design is so cute as well. I also thought I'd show you, whilst we're on the sleeping bag theme, uh, in my other haul I showed you the Aiden and A stuff that we got um, gifted, and but they were still in the boxes at the time. But I've taken this out and I've washed it and this is a sleeping bag from Aiden and A and it is made from the muslin material. But this is... Um, this is the next size up, so I think it's 6 to 12 months. But I've taken it out now so you can see it properly. And, oh, it's so nice. This is only a one-tog one as well. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that because I absolutely love the print. And it feels so nice. Next. I've got a couple of packs of dummies. Now, all three of the other kids have always used the cherry dummies and i absolutely hate them like i don't know why they've just not taken to any other dummy and then as soon as i buy the cherry dummies they just they, they just took them and i'm refusing to buy them this time because i don't like them they don't do them in nice cute designs they're all they're just either red or green or yellow and they're just they're just not not nice dummies and they're really big and I don't like them. So I've picked up a couple of dummies and hopefully this baby will like the nice cute ones. So I've picked up the mam dummies that a lot of people are saying are really good. No, I mean, she might not even want dummies, which is completely fine. That'd be great. Oh, got my tracksuit bottoms on. But if she does, just picked up a pack or two of mam dummies. I've, these have been in my hospital bag. I need to put them back in. But I need to sterilise them first. Because I think you can sterilise them in this container, which they come in, which is really good. And they're sterile for 48 hours. So I'll have to sort that soon and pop them back in. And then I've, really, I've heard really good things about these ones. Now, these dummies just look crazy. But they're the uh, Tommy Tip here, Close to Nature breast like soothers now i'm not breastfeeding but it 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 says helps transition um breast bottle and soothers so you can use them if you're bottle feeding as well that's completely fine but yeah look at them they're very strange like if you see the kid on the front but they are meant to be really really good so i just thought i'd pick up a pack of them just to see what they're like as well so hopefully between these two we'll be all right Next up, this is a bath and room thermometer. So I've got them little ones that you get with the actual, the grow bags. And then I picked this one up because I thought it were really good because you can use it in the bath and in the, um, and in the room. This needs batteries as well. Um, yeah, and it tells you the ideal temperature. I think it's 37. It floats in the water like that. So yeah, I, I, it were a little bit more expensive than your average like room thermometers, but I thought dual purpose. Why not? While we're on to bath bits and bobs, just thought I'd show you these <clears throat> Child's Farm toiletries that we picked up. Now we really, really like Child's Farm mainly because Corbin um, he's got sensitive skin and all those stuff other things and he actually like he can use these as well and we're gonna to have to be really careful what we put on the baby because we don't want it to interfere with Corbin and we know that this is safe for him and we just love Charles Farm so we've got the baby shampoo the baby wash the baby bubble time and then the baby moisturizer onto a couple of soothery type bits and bobs well not silvers really. There's a rattle. And it's a sloth. Look how cute is that? Yeah, it's a little rattle. It's from Mary 
Maya, Mia. Um, it's from, what's it called? I can't remember. What shop is it? Anyway, yeah, Little Sloth, which is so cute. And then, look at that. That is so sweet. How cute. Another little sloth. We've got, we've got a little jelly cat as well, but that's in the hospital bag. Little Dumbo, which is so cute. Yeah, Disney Dumbo from not month so it's fine and then this first baby i think it's a baby annabelle baby born and it's a rattle and it's like just a, a little i've never i've not seen a little like a little doll this small before that's a rattle but yeah i thought that were really really cute <laughs> and it says from not plus so it's all safe for little babies I also picked up a book. The, this is from Amazon. I think that was from Amazon too. Um, but a little book. Guess how much I love you. Snuggle book. And look how cute it is. It's so sweet. I'm planning on in her nursery getting some shelves to put on the wall. And I just thought like little bits and bobs like this. And this. will go nice on some shelves on a wall. Yeah, I thought that were really, really cute. Now these are so sweet. These are custom made by Uncle Reese. Look. I'm trying I best not show you the other side because the other side of these has actually got her name on them. So yeah, um she buys the shoe and then he actually draws the print on there and then yeah I'm looking at a name right now <laughs> it's got a name on but I thought I don't know if to actually put her in these or I thought these would look well I might put her in them and then put them on a shelf as well in a bedroom like because it's got an elephant on things like that thought that'd look really cute but how sweet are they now this is a change mat Ooh gone dark change my thing never have one like this it's from ikea and i think it yeah it blows up around the edges and i just thought it'd be good to put on a change station upstairs um or obviously have it anyway i mean to be fair i change baby's bums on my knee most of the time but i just thought it was just plain white so it'd look nice in the nursery and i've not seen one that actually blows up so yeah i'll have to see what that's like but yeah it's from ikea so it, it weren't much at all i think it were only a couple of pounds but i thought we'd try it and then i'll just show you a bit of bedding and blankets and that that we've got because she has actually got a cot bed i mean i know she'll not be in the cot bed for a long time but we picked up a mattress the other day that's over there it's too big um so I just picked up a couple of the fitted sheets. They're four ninety nine for two fitted cot bed sheets. And these were from Home Bargains. I picked them up from here. I was going to get a pack from Mother Care. And um, I think it was £20 and you get two bottom sheets, a cellular blanket and then just a normal blanket, which I think is really reasonable. But she's not going to be in it for a long time. So I thought I'd just make the cot up put the bottom sheets on and we've got plenty of blankets just to put on it for now because I actually I want she's having an elephant themed nursery so I just want to find something a bit more that I like so yeah I just thought I'd pick them up from Mother Care just two Pram and Moses fitted sheets for the Moses basket and I thought actually this is this is Aiden and an ace as well which I showed you in the previous video but I've not got it out and I've got it out now to wash it and oh my god, this blanket, I'm in love with it. It is huge. Look, and it's double sided. It's got the 100 acre wood on one side, and then that pattern on the other side. It's massive, absolutely massive. So you can throw it down, which is plain on the floor. You could use it, it you know, in the car seat just to 
put on the sofa if she's chilling out on there. You could just use it anywhere. It is so nice. Oh, and it smells good too because I've washed it. Look, and it matches that. <laughs> oh God, I'm out of breath. And then I just thought I'd show you a couple of blankets. This blanket is so soft. It's a Claire de Lune, the same as our uh, Moses basket. I did actually, I think I showed this in the um, baby bag video. I need to pop it back in actually. But it's just one of them popcorn blankets and it feels so, so soft. I think it was just from Amazon. And then we have uh, one from Asda, just like a fleece type blanket. The Tatty Teddy make which is really sweet this has to be i think my favorite blanket it's it's just from amazon and it was not expensive at all but look at the elephants on that that looks so nice in a nursery like hung over the cot or what have you but look it's so sweet love it and then i just thought i'd show you because at the minute at mother care you know i mentioned about the cot bed where they're doing it for 20 pound where you get like a starter kit well, I got the one, um, the Moses Basket Mother Care Bale Kit, whatever you want to call it. And you get two fitted sheets in there for the Moses Basket or Pram. You get this blanket, which is quite big, really nice. And then you get, a, a well, we got a pink one because we got the pink set, but they, they come in all different colours. Um, you get a cellular blanket as well which is in her hospital bag so I can't show that because I'm not going to unpack that but yeah you get you get so like four items and it, I think it was only reduced to £15 from mother care and I think they're still on offer so yeah I just thought I'd show you them because I thought they were a really good price and I think that's it apart from the rocker that we bought and we bought the hang on let me get the box oh. We've bought the, the Joy, oh jeez, right, we bought <laughs> the Joy Inspired by Mother Care Wisp Rocker. Now, it's the same as the Joy Dream Rockers, but they've obviously just, they've done this design for Mother Care, and I just, I like the design. Now, we're going to get the pink one, but I just like this design here, and I picked up this one, it's mainly because... It lies flat. God, I'm so out of breath. Yeah, it lies flat like that. So if we're going anywhere, we can just slip it in the car really easily. It's quite heavy, you know. Um, and it, it's just easier, easy to do. I haven't actually really read the instructions, so I don't know how it works. But I think it's got like a thing there. Yeah. And then it goes into three seating positions as well i think i might actually do a video just on this like after i've read the instructions but yeah it goes up and it like it doesn't lie flat but it lies quite low so if the baby's asleep like they'll be all right to sleep in there for a little bit and then it goes up and it sits quite upright and then on the back it also has so it, it can rock and then but then it also has a stand here so then it can stand so the baby can either rock you know rock itself or you can have it like that and then you can just bounce the baby and then it also has here which we haven't got batteries again so i can't show you it's also got some controls so it vibrates it plays lullabies and different bits and bobs and then it also has a little thing that you put there for the baby to play with but yeah i think i might actually read the instructions on this get the batteries and do a video on this because i think it is really really good i was looking at the baby beyond bouncer which is about 100 is it about 100 and you can get them from around from 120 to 150 pounds and that's not even with like the toy bit that goes around it and i was looking for something like that because that lies flat and it can rock like you can use this without all of the bits and bobs to it and the baby can just rock with it if you want but it's also got a load of other features and it's like half the price so yeah i thought that were a, a really good alternative to the baby beyond one that i saw i think that's it 22 minutes david's gonna kill me
Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.